Hello, people of Wall Street. We're coming to you live. <laughs> Greetings, friends. Welcome back to the Small Brain Podcast. <laughs> Today we are in Dominica. We're laying in a bed in our Airbnb. We just got here, me and Sarah. <laughs> it's been such a long day. <laughs> and yeah, we took like a puddle jumper here. Yeah. Almost didn't make it. We fucking... Oh, my God. I got denied entry because I didn't have a return ticket, so yeah. I had to buy one, like, on the spot. Yeah. We were laid over in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and when you checked in for the flight, you had to check a box that said, I've got a flight, you know, out and enter a date, and we were Naturally. checking in. Yeah, we were checking in, and Connor was like, yeah, just enter a date there and check the box, so we go through it, and then we get to the counter, and the guy's like, I can't let you board. <laughs> It's the confidence only a white male can have. It's yeah. just like, yeah, fuck it. The airline, the airline will accommodate to me. <laughs> that rule, that law about whether I can stay in a country or not doesn't apply to no, me. No, 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 no. This is my country now. Do you now. know who I am? <laughs> Did you see the skin? <laughs> Jeez. No, yeah. Uh, so that was a, a nail biter. I was yeah. like, honestly, I wasn't even that stressed about it. Like, okay, we had 15 minutes to board, right? I wasn't even that stressed. I was like, okay, I'll just buy it. Fuck it. I'll buy the first ticket. I see. And that'll be it. But then I went to go buy it. And then I, like, went through the whole checkout process. But it took five minutes. And then by the time I got to the end, it was like, sorry, the ticket's no longer available. And I was like, well, fuck. I just wasted five minutes. Yeah. And I think we had less than 15 minutes at that point to get on the plane. We were like, oh, Connor even joked. He was like, you'll hold the plane for us, right? And he was like, no. Because it was a tiny plane. I was like, how many fucking people could there be? It's like 12 people. Yeah. The airport for Dominica was tiny. Yeah, it was so cute. There were literally 12 people on our flight. Literally 12 people. Yeah. Right? Wasn't there 12? Yeah. Yeah. It was nothing. It was crazy. Yeah, the flights to Dominica, like, I've seen Walmart parking lots bigger than the airport. Oh, for sure. Dominica. The entire airport, including the landing strip. <laughs> it was really short, actually. I'm glad that the windows were so tiny. You could barely see out because I would have been a little scared. But honestly, that landing when we came in. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. You're tell gonna... them about the landing. Tell oh, them about the landing. It was crazy. I don't, if you've seen the show Lost from like, what was that? Like the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that was filmed, but it could have been filmed in Dominica. When we were coming in, we were coming in low over the island. And it was just straight, thick, wild jungle. Thick. And we were, like, it, it was level with us. It was like we were yeah. landing in like a valley. Yeah. It was not a spacious valley. And usually, like, you know, if you're landing in, like, Japan or the U.S., like, you'll see, kind of over Atlanta, you'll see it'll be, like, brush and, like, wilderness. And you'll see, like, some suburbs and you'll see, like, an industrial park and then, boom, you're at the airport. Yeah. But Dominica, it was, like, the airport is in the fucking jungle. Yeah. It was all green. I didn't see when we were getting lower and lower. I was like, where's the f landing strip? Yeah. I was a little. Honestly, I was like, if I were to fall out of this plane right now, like, what were my odds? What would my odds of survival be? And I'd be like, it's fucking zero. I don't know. You might get cushioned by the jungle canopy. Yeah. But then the boas find you. That's you true. Know. Our taxi driver. <laughs> I didn't. This is a dumb question. We were driving up to the B&B with this taxi driver. And um, he was telling us about, like, wildlife and just, like, facts about the island. The guy had encyclopedic knowledge of this place. It was really impressive. And um, we were talking about, like, are there crocs here? Because there's lots of little windy rivers through the jungle. And he was like, no, but you do have to watch out for the boa constrictors. Yeah. That's but he scary. said they don't come out during the daytime, right? Because they hide under, like, leaf yeah. litter and stuff. He was like, they come out at night. I tried to block that part out, honestly. <laughs> Well, we just won't go tromping around the jungle. I don't want to learn about any of the animals if they're not big, friendly whales. Ah. That's the only animals I want to see here. Which is the number one thing that <laughs> I'm most excited to do when we're here. That's literally why we came here. Yeah. Was to see the whales. Well, I mean, it's it sparked it, but then we found out all these other like amazing things to do here, like the hot springs mm -hmm. and like that Indian River yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, it seems sick. And the people are just really friendly. You know, it's, it's almost like, like we were just driving through the towns and villages and stuff, and it just seems just like a chill, safe, friendly, like just an honest culture. I don't know, just the vibe I got, like just driving yeah. through the places. It seemed like a Caribbean nation. It's like Haiti, but without all the fuck shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like kind of run down, but like the people just seem really trustworthy and friendly and nice. Yeah. Did you, know? you see there were so many people that were like waving to our taxi driver and he were was there? like waving to people. Yeah. I didn't notice I that. I was like, are these his friends? Yeah. I, I, I clocked it. Maybe it's because I was sitting right behind him. Oh. Uh, yeah. No. 
But yeah, just on the ride in, I was like, I don't know. I just, I just got a really good vibe from this place. Yeah. You know? Right when we landed. It just, I've never landed in a place like that. Immediately, we were like, this is special. It was like we were landing on site to do, like, some fucking remote safari or something. Yeah. It was they, like we were landing on a Hollywood movie set. And we were yeah. going to film Jurassic Park. Yeah, and the tarmac was even new, too. It, it seemed like they had just, like, put this airport up. Like, all right, this is, we're going to film the movie here. <laughs> yeah. We need this remote location. Yeah. And we got off the plane. Like, everybody was just chilling outside the plane. Like, I saw the pilot. The pilot was like, hey, is this your bag? It was just sitting on the tarmac. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah. oh, yes, it is, Mr. Captain. Like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. And then he walked into, like, the customs area, quote, quote. Like, just right. one room in a building with, like, a, a tiny little sign with the airport's name and, like, a, the flag of Dominica. And we asked him, like, hey, man, like, what flight number was this? Because we were filling in, like, the customs paperwork. Well, then he walked by us and he was like, you guys good? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, actually. That's so friendly. Yeah, we need to know what flight number that was. I bet pilots fight over who gets to fly these little routes between the islands. Yeah. Because it's gorgeous. Imagine yeah. that's the route you fly. He's probably got, like, a second family here. <laughs> His, his wife doesn't know about it. He just oh goes God. to the Caribbean and Jesus. disappears in the jungle. There's a whole new fear now for spouses. <laughs> don't trust the pilots. No, that's what everybody says. I don't know. Really? I've heard that before. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've heard Cause that. Because they're too, like, mobile? Like they... Yeah, it's like they're gone all the time, and they're always hanging out with, like, flight crews, and they flight go attendants. to bars. Yeah, I don't know. There's, I don't know if they're stock to it or not, but that's just a thing that I've heard multiple times in yeah. my life. Aren't pilots known for, like, being womanizers? Like, playboys? Yeah. Like, they drink, they do their cigars, they... Yeah. I don't that's, know. Am I've I making this too. up? I think I'm making this up. I don't no? know. No, I've heard, I've heard of that reputation. Obviously, <laughs> you know, it's not all of them, but I've heard it too. There's, I don't know if there's any truth to it or yeah. not. I think of it also, it's like, it's like truckers. They're not, Ooh. I don't think of like a trucker, like a playboy woman, <laughs> sir, but I do think it's like, you're away from home all the time. Well, they and fuck you're the lot sleeping. lizards. What? The young boys that hook themselves, they prostitute themselves in the parking lot of like Bucky's and like, uh, what are those big gas stations? Pilots. What? Yeah, they like walk around and they like suck cock for money. Lot lizards? You haven't heard about this? I've never heard that term. Oh, well. What? Oh my God. <laughs> now I feel weird for knowing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, okay. This is not, I don't know anything about the lot lizards, but I will say I do know somebody, and I will not give any names or anything, but I know somebody who found out their dad was a trucker and they found out when their dad died that he had had a whole other no. family. Yes. I shit you not. The other family showed up at the funeral and they, they all no found out. No fucking yes, way. Yes, yes, yes way. Yeah. Because I feel like I've heard that on like, I think this is a common story. I think I've heard this before. I don't know. It was somebody that I, I used to work with. Oh my God. Yeah. Insane, right? She was like an older, an older woman. Like she had, she had grown children and it was her dad, their grandpa. And they all found out like at <sighs> his funeral when he died. Yeah. Was she married by then? Cause I feel like if she wasn't, she would never trust men and she'd probably turn gay. <laughs> Honestly, like that's yeah. some serious I trauma. Was, I think she was married or maybe she was married and divorced cause she had, she had a couple of kids. Oh my God. Yeah. I feel like that would shatter your belief that in would, humanity. She, I remember she actually, <laughs> oh she God. quit not long after she had a lot going on, but this is a whole other tangent, but yeah, she didn't stick around long, but yeah, it totally shattered their sense of like reality and truth and their family. Oh and, my God. Yeah. So she was married by the time it happened. Like she had already had a life and stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. She was probably like in her fifties. Jesus Christ. Yeah. This old man. It was man. her dad? Yeah. Oh, my God. Biological dad. Like. Yeah. So she had, like, siblings she didn't even know about. Yes. Holy yeah. shit. The lot lizards are, they're out there, and they're they're thirsty. Listen, I don't know if a lot lizard. Trucker cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, the worst kind of cock I can imagine. <laughs> no offense to any truckers. Yeah. Up. The, uh, they're using the gas station boner pills and. <laughs> I just don't. I've never heard a woman be like, mmm, trucker cock. <laughs> the sweaty three day olds. Oh. Not showered. Oh. But yeah, I mean, I guess pilots would just be like truckers with money. Yeah. If that's the yeah. analogy you're drawing here. That's the analogy I'm drawing, yeah. I'm I think not. I trust pilots. <laughs> All pilots. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't trust them. But, you know, it's somebody who works away from home all the time, staying in hotels. And they got like, money. They got big fucking money. 
If yeah. you're a commercial pilot, you are making bank. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, true. even to get your pilot's lessons, you have to go through, I think it's like, I don't know, at least 50 grand worth of training. My friend's trying to become a pilot, and he actually used all of his unemployment money, like 25 grand, to <gasps> use for the pilot lessons that you have to. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, good for him for reinvesting <laughs> in himself, you know? Yeah. At least he could have used that money for crack or something. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. But, I don't know, who knows if our pilot was a... Uh, getting a little sucky sucky in the jungle uh, i don't know <laughs> how did we get on this subject i don't know, I don't know either <laughs> all right what are we going to do in dominica in dominica okay. so we, we originally came to see the whales like mm -hmm. we saw the 60 minutes thing on like the whales it's like the only place where the sperm whales are like the second biggest animal in the on the planet Some, next to the blue whale yeah right? something like that they're also i believe the deepest diving whale which is why it's so rare to see them mm. And they sleep really weird. They sleep vertical. Yeah. So they they live in Dominica year round. Yeah. It's like the only country, right? With yeah, the, the only permanent, place in the world. permanent resident yeah. population of them. So we saw the 60 Minutes thing on them and I fucking cried. It was so magical. Aww. Swimming in the whales. They like come up to you <laughs> and they touch you and they like, they'll do little click sounds and they like Aww. define their tribe. I'm like, I'm from this tribe. What tribe are you from? Yeah. And they're like flipping around, looking all curious. Oh my gosh. And, um, I called Sarah right away, and I was like, "We have to go." Yeah. And did we book something like? We booked right it that night. That? Right away, we booked something because we were actually planning on going to a different Caribbean island uh -huh. for like the longest time. And then, yeah, Connor saw that, and then it was like, no brainer. This yeah. place looks amazing. It was so special. Yeah. Plus, it looks like so rustic and untouched. I mean, even driving through, like, the jungle was just so thick everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere we went, like, usually in a Caribbean island, it'd be like gross. I don't know McDonald's and. I don't know. I really have not explored the Caribbean much, but my idea of it is like it's not like a nice place yeah. outside of the resorts and shit. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I think it depends on where you go, but yeah, I see your point. For, like, there's no infrastructure, there's no discernible, like, hotel chains or no, restaurant chains or store chains or anything. Yeah. The only accommodation is like this place. It's like. Yeah, I feel like I'm living in a local's house. Like, it's all, like, these stucco, kind of cheesy-looking, yeah. like, houses. Yeah, kind of, like, run down. Yeah. I mean, it's actually pretty nice, though. Yeah, I mean, It has everything we need. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't, it's, there's no frills. It's not, like, for Oh, yeah, tourists. for sure. Like, Definitely. Yeah. You know, I was thinking that when we were driving, it was a really windy, like, jungly drive from the airport to where this Airbnb is, and... All I could think about was like this is there's a reason this is not like a tourist hotspot. I think yeah. this place is for the intrepid traveler. Like just yeah. I'm not saying that we're some kind of cool travelers, but I'm just we saying are cool, like we're very cool. <laughs> yeah, let it be known. <laughs> Don't be bashful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying like I think a normal person who wants to go on a Caribbean vacation should not come here. Yeah. This is if you are a hiker and mm -hmm. if you like extremely rustic shit, yeah, rustic yeah, accommodations. Yeah. I mean, this place has been hit really hard by like hurricanes and stuff. Like yeah. everything just looks run down. Yeah. The guy, the, the taxi driver was like, oh, yeah, well, I was like asking about the history. And it's like, oh, yeah, Hurricane What's His Face came through here in 1979. And then that this road got fucked up. And now this road's new. And oh, mm -hmm. this hurricane came through. It just seemed like hurricanes were like an integral part of like every piece of history or like current yeah. events is like oh yeah just hurricanes are so relevant and the volcanic eruptions he was talking about like the volcanoes erupting like back to back and stuff and he told us that one story about when he was in primary school he remembered like one of the volcanoes erupting and this guy was probably what like 50 50s or 60s yeah yeah but he like remembered it he recalled it in like vivid detail doing like the evacuation and everything when one of the volcanoes was erupting but yeah i think this place just get it gets hit hard by natural disasters and stuff, but yeah. but it's definitely this isn't like an adventure travel destination. Yeah, you can feel it too. Like it, it, I don't know. Like it's not dangerous, like I said, but you can just tell it's like it just feels local. It feels like you're in someone else's world. It doesn't it doesn't <laughs> feel like this world is made for you? Yeah, this you know feels I mean? like. You know, when you go to, like, different Caribbean islands and people are like, well, don't leave resort property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire island is like you've left resort property. You right. know, it's neighborhoods and it's like, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like the stuff that, like, other Caribbean islands try to, like, hide. They don't want the tourists to see that yeah. part, you know? Yeah, I'm going to adjust the fan real quick. You can keep going if you have stuff to say. I'll wait for you. Huh? I'll wait.
boy for you. <laughs> Sound check one two. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. Me too. Even just talking to the people, like I just think they just seem friendly and like honest. Even though our meal was fucking expensive oh tonight God. for two trays of like shrimp and chicken, it was like sixty bucks, sixty five dollars total. Yeah. That's insane. And that was also the same price that we paid for the taxi from the airport. This was a really expensive day. Yeah. If if the price wasn't written down, I'd be like, oh, they're they're scamming us for sure. Yeah, same, same. Yeah. But I mean, I guess they could have been scamming us. They maybe just wrote it down. They're like, oh, whites are here. Let's pull out the whiteboard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I saw it written down. I was like, okay, that's fine. But honestly, just the vibe that people gave me, I just, I mean, yeah, like I think there are going to be tourist prices, but like, I don't know. I just have a good feeling about it. I do too. Yeah. yeah, the number one thing I'm most excited about is the sperm whales because that is like a very niche thing that we won't be able to do in many other places. I don't know of any other places. And yeah. I have a whale thing, so. Yeah. And yeah. then after that, I want to – there's like tons of waterfalls and hot springs and mm -hmm. diving. Diving. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm most excited about okay. in general. Yeah. I'm excited about the little roadside bars with people like <laughs> – ripping liquor at like two in the afternoon i feel like yeah i don't know like there's just all these like wooden shacks on the side of the road that sell like little fruits and candies mm. and just i don't know i just want to talk to people i feel like they, they're just so cool and i don't know maybe i'm just projecting all this but everyone yeah. i saw was like they look cool they look friendly <laughs> they look nice they did seem like they have like a porch culture here yes yeah. i love that yeah and the tax culture yeah the taxi driver was like oh i was like Oh, what liquor do they drink here? And he's like, oh, everything. They drink everything. Like, there's a huge problem drinking in this country. So <laughs> He did say that. Yeah, I guess they do have a stoop culture. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of an unemployment problem, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. We were driving down some of these roads. And the roads, by the way, the roads are they're terrible. Abysmal. Yeah. Um, they, it's just, why are they so bad? He kept he saying something trucks. about trucks. The, the Chinese companies are coming in here. He wasn't racist. He's not blaming the Chinese yeah. for his problems. But it's like these big uh, Chinese uh, construction companies building infrastructure, roads, schools, whatever. And they're using these big, massive dump trucks. And they're like, they're so heavy that oh. the roads aren't quality enough to... So, like, they'll kind of veer off the margin of the road, and they'll kind of, like, crumple the edge of it. Oh, that's why. I, okay. Yeah. I couldn't hear it because I was in the back seat. We had the windows down. Yeah. Okay. I wondered why. But, yeah, they're they're already, like, windy, and they already kind of shift from, like, pavement to gravel to all the stuff through the jungle. But, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. The roads were pretty shit. Where was I going? What were we talking about? Mm, liquor. Stoop culture. Uh, China. I don't know. I can't remember, I can't remember now where either. I was it's going late. with this. We were talking about oh, sperm whales, canyoneering. canyoneering. Say, say stuff about canyoneering. Can canyoneering. 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 Canyoning. I like where your head's at, though. It's like a mix of canyoning and mountaineering. Yeah, well, I mean, you are hiking and then you're jumping <laughs> off fucking cliffs. Yeah. Yeah. So this is born from like growing up watching The Amazing Race. I uh -huh. love whenever they, like, there was an episode, I think they went to, like, Interlock in Switzerland, which will never be in our budget, so, um, I've basically. Been it's been in my budget, baby. I'm just kidding. My parents <laughs> paid for it. It was <laughs> when I was in college, <laughs> when I was studying abroad. I forgot that you went there. <laughs> for, like, two days. Listen, you didn't go canyoning, though, so. It was cloudy when we went there, and we just, like, drank and, like, did some lame hikes. Oh. Yeah. What? It, lame hikes? How could it be lame? It was, they were cool, but. We just like walked through a pasture and saw some cows and oh. it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was just cloudy. And okay. I was with some kind of boring people, if I'm being honest. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They can really make or break it. Yeah. We'll see how my experience here goes with you. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, the canyoning. Yeah. It's basically like, it's just like an outdoor obstacle course. You, it's like a mixture of hiking and swimming mm -hmm. and like American Ninja Warrior you're like jump, you're like repelling and yeah. yeah but yeah you like basically you're just making your way through this canyon where you'll have to like jump off the waterfall and then swim you know to the edge and then you hike a little bit and then you might have to repel down a wall like it's yeah, like an adult obstacle sick. course 
I think it would be really cool with a 360 camera. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Yeah. And it'll be way cheaper here than Switzerland. Yeah. Do you think you can fly your drone in there? Only if I get really good at flying the drone. Because I yeah. wonder how narrow the canyon is. Oh, no, because you jump in the water. You, you need to hold the remote and stuff. Yeah, but it has a feature where it can just kind of hover in place. Like, but where are you going to put your phone when you're in the water? That's a really good point. Yeah, yeah that won't know, work. Like, that yeah, won't work. Yeah. Hmm. Insta360 it is. Yeah, that's all right. We have all these fun toys now. Yeah. Got the new mics. Got the camera. <laughs> the scuba case. You got your GoPro. Yeah. God damn, this trip has been like such a... Uh, headache to figure out everything yeah. the movers scamming us all that money oh my god they basically we can just give an abbreviated version <laughs> yeah. it's so long but <laughs> and we've told it so many times yeah. but the movers basically we got a quote and they're like oh no you're gonna be like well under the limit so like we just have to like kind of upcharge you to make sure like legally you can go yeah well under the limit for the amount of stuff that we had to move yeah and and they're like, okay, fine. And I give them a, uh, the deposit. And then this new guy comes into the picture and is like, okay, it's actually going to be like 25% more because of all the extra stuff that you're telling me now. I was like, dude, I told you like a trash can yeah. and like a desk. Yeah. And now it's like 25% more. I don't understand. <laughs> and then the moving guy showed up and they were like, oh, no, it's going to be double of that new price. Yeah. So like it was price A and then price B and then price C was like almost – it was like two and a half times the original yeah. price. Yeah. So the, this third guy, it's moving day. We've packed everything up. We have flights out that night. He walks in. He t tries to shake us down again. Yeah. This guy tries to shake us down when he had us with our backs against the wall. Yeah. What could we have done? Well. Well, I told him to get <laughs> fucked. I was like, you can leave right now. We're going to find someone else. And he <laughs> fucking walked out. Yeah. And then after he did that, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to leave. I thought I could bargain with him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> literally well, left. No, but you literally told him. We're standing in our kitchen. And Connor was like, no. You know what, man? You can go home. You can just go home. He he sounded so calm when he said it. But that's just Connor. So, I, like, I knew he was livid. But, yeah, the guy was like, uh, mm, so it was so awkward, yeah. honestly. And then yeah. he walked out. And then he called his boss on speakerphone and i had the original guy that gave us the original price which was it's like the chain of command is so weird so like i hired this guy i signed a contract and then he subcontracted this guy in my living room which i didn't know was going to happen yeah so i call homeboy and i'm like hey what the fuck and i'm he's on speakerphone yeah and then the homeboy standing right there the new guy and i'm like what the fuck we're not gonna pay them like they can just get fucked and go home and then my guy was like, oh, yeah, they shouldn't do that. Like, they're not honest. We're not going to work with them anymore. They're not getting our business. And then the guy in the room was like, no, 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 wait. And then, yeah. then they started negotiating. Yeah, yeah, because after <laughs> after Connor kicked him out, he went outside his, and called his boss. He came he came back inside. So he's standing in the kitchen while the original moving guy is, like, berating him to Connor on speakerphone. The, like, three of us are standing there. It was pretty awkward. <laughs> but I was like, yes, do your dirty work. Do my dirty work. Yeah. Get the price down. And, yeah, they were negotiating, like, some, some uh, cubic footage. Yeah, which was insane, by the way, because yeah. the the original guy who gave us the quote was talking to the guy who was trying to shake us down, and he was like, "Come on, man! Like, just can't you just call it, you know, this yeah, number like, of knock, square feet?" He's like, "Knock a hundred off," and he's like, "Okay, I can do 50 I'm yeah. like, "Wait, what the and fuck are like, we?" Yeah, all of a sudden it's a negotiation. Are you, you guys just are making just making this up? it up. Yeah, you're not even gonna measure it. By the way, the day before, I had measured every single thing because I knew we were going to get fucked. Yeah. I knew it. And I put sticky notes on everything. Yeah. And I was like, here's what the desk is. Here's what the chair is. I, I know exactly how much it is. Yeah. So if you overcharge us, I, I got you by the balls. Yeah. But it really didn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, in the end, after a lot of bullshit, you managed to get it back down pretty yeah, close yeah, to our yeah. original quote. But yeah. it, it, it was the principle of the whole thing of them like subcontracting the job out and not telling us of them coming in and trying to rip us off. Like it was, it was all of it. And the yeah. fact that you, he literally Connor went to the store, bought a tape measure, I sure did. measured the cubic feet of every item that we own. I sure shit did. <laughs> Yeah, they can get fucked. He spent so long doing it, and then Science, they bitch. then they had the nerve to like he just he the, the moving guy like walked into our bedroom and looked at like our where we live very like pretty minimally you know we had a dresser some end tables and an, a bed 
And he was like, oh, this is probably like 500. I can't even remember how many cubic feet no, he, he said he made it up. He's like, oh, these three extra things are going to be like 200 extra square feet. And I was like, actually, 17 plus f like 34 plus 27 is like 70 something. Yeah, he tried to make it like almost <laughs> five times whatever we knew that it was. Like, what the fuck are you talking it about? It was crazy. That's when I was like, get out. Yeah. Like, you are not just going to make shit up. And I mean, the, the number, what we paid was already crazy. And he was trying to double it. Yeah. I was like, go the fuck home. <laughs> and on top of all this, with the original quote that we got, we also thought originally that that included the packing. And that's why we were willing to pay, like, what we thought was a pretty, like, high price yeah, for movers. Yeah, like, oh, if we just sit on our happy asses and watch them pack all our shit. Like, yeah, we thought it was, I'll like, a, little extra. a more, like, an all-inclusive thing. Because when we were on the phone, Connor was like, okay, so you guys come in, you know, you pack, you wrap everything, you move it. And the guy was like, yeah. But yeah, should have got that in writing. That was so not the case. Yeah, we should have gotten in writing. So the night before all of this shady shit went down and we were supposed to move, we were running around D.C. like at night, like getting boxes from people off Facebook Marketplace, like yeah. trying to pack our shit really fast. It was a whole shit show. Yeah. <sighs> but it's over. That's the price of freedom, baby. <laughs> yeah. You know, got to sell your stuff. Get the fuck out of there. Quit paying rent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's been that, and then we sold all of our stuff on Facebook Marketplace, and yeah, we're we're just gearing up for like a big, like year-long trip. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. I mean, it's definitely. all the hardest stuff's over. Yeah, definitely. Bought all the gear, got all the visas. Got all the doctor's appointments in before yeah. I quit my job. Yeah. <laughs> Lost the... my health benefits. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, you quit I'm your fine. big Fortune 100 job. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so crazy. I still can't believe it. Yeah, today is technically my first day of self-employment. <laughs> Although you, like, took so many days off without even telling them. Listen, Can we talk about that or no? <laughs> listen, I wouldn't say I took them off without telling them. I would say that I have excellent time management skills. Oh, that's that corporate spin. That's how it's been. You know There's what? That corporate Dude, spin. You know what? I once saw. I saw this girl. This was a. I think it was an Instagram thing, but I saw on the Today Show because I'm an old woman. And when were you watching the Today Show? We don't even get cable. I know. I was watching it with my mom. I think it was over the holidays or something. I can't remember. We but don't even have Netflix, and you're watching. <laughs> it was prime at my time parents' house. Cable. It was at my parents' house. They have okay. cable. They're boomers. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I was drinking coffee with my parents, and it came on the Today Show, and it was this girl who, um, her whole thing on Instagram, like she had an Instagram account built around how you should say things in corporate speak. So she was making these Instagram videos, uh, reels, and saying like. Oh, like if you needed to tell like a coworker to fuck off, like here's how you say it in corporate speak. Right. And she would like spin it. And so she was on the Today Show and they were like throwing her like scenarios for things you would need to say. And then she was spinning them and saying with saying it with corporate speak. I don't mm. know. That just reminded me of it because, right. you know, you say it's. It's spin. Yeah, it's spin. Yeah. It's spin. It's PR shit. Yeah, exactly. Like when I had my job at the law firm for like the six weeks I worked there, <laughs> anytime like. I wanted someone to stop talking and just get fucked. I'd just, I would say, thanks. Oh. <laughs> like, thanks. Like, you're done now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. But we don't have to do any of that anymore. None of that boring stuff. No, it feels really We're good. We're free. No. Yeah. We're going to be traveling for a while. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all worth it. I mean, yeah, this is the first night of the big trip for yeah. the next year or so. Yeah. Or until, you know, we get arrested or the money runs out or <laughs> yeah. we get caught in a war zone or something. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's list out all the worst case scenarios. Hurricane. Jesus. I actually thought about that. Yeah. Especially, I mean, we're in the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> it's where hurricanes happen. It's, it's not hurricane <laughs> season, though. I think we're Gucci, but there are volcanoes here. Yeah, he said there was like nine active volcanoes. Yeah, he said there was a bunch. That's fucking nuts. You know, I think I saw one of them out, yeah, yeah. out the window on the plane when we were Shrouded landing. in clouds? Yeah, it looked so Ooh, cool. Yeah. It looked like that movie Kong Skull Island. Oh, my God. Your taste in movies is so bad. I, you know what? I didn't watch the whole movie. I, I don't think I watched the movie at all. I think uh -oh. I only saw the trailer, and it looked <laughs> it looked like that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this whole island looks like a ride at Universal or it something. It does. Yeah. It really I mean, the does. cliffs, oh, my God. The cliffs are so impressive. The guy, the guy was saying the... Um, 
there's mm-hmm. not a lot of great beaches here because the the coast is so deep. It's like it'll, it's just a mountain, and it'll just shear off thousands of feet underwater. So yeah. it's like a cliff face, and then that, and then the whales are just like right next to yeah. the, the land because yeah. of that. They can dive so deep. That's it's so unique because a lot of the Caribbean islands, the water around them is super shallow. Like the continental shelf goes out for like a mile or something around most Caribbean islands. Dominica mm-hmm. is really special. Mm. Yeah. And we just stumbled upon it watching 60 Minutes I know. with my parents. <laughs> See? What were you doing watching 60 Minutes, money bags? <laughs> what, basic cable? We don't pay. <laughs> we don't pay for one single streaming service, do we? Uh, no. Spotify? I don't know if you count that. Yeah, I guess that counts. We, have, we don't even have Netflix. Once I got kicked off, I was like, nope, not. We're, we're know, done. We're done watching we Netflix. Got, we finally got, we <laughs> fell prey to the Netflix thing with like the the them creeping on your location we were using my parents and um yeah it was when we were in dc yeah we didn't renew it i was talking to my mom about that last night actually she was like what is it like 7.99 a month and i was like well well it's that's hmm. 7.99 more than i was paying so <laughs> yeah, exactly it still feels like an expense yeah i mean i used to steal stuff online all the time Anyways, what do you if, mean? I, if i wanted a movie i would just download it how i would torrent it or use limewire or napster you, you were did such all a those little things. goody t I know, I really was. You're like, Daddy, can I have uh, your credit card for the iTunes <laughs> and he album, would say, the new Taylor Swift album? No, he would say, no, go study. <laughs> and then go to soccer practice and then go to bed. And then when you got an A, he would buy it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, probably. My mom had like this prize box, like when we got good grades. And That's nice. Yeah, it was so cute. That's a good idea. You know, you would go like get a little arts and crafts thing or like a CD you wanted or something. Mm-hmm. It was cute. That is cute, yeah. yeah. But no, I would just download it. Yeah, you just go. It's easy. It's so easy. I mean, I think you can even still do it. Um, I was just on my parents' computer at the time and just didn't care if they got viruses. How did you even learn how to do that? My brother. How did he learn? Probably another adolescent boy. Oh. I remember hearing that, hearing those words like LimeWire, Napster, you know. LimeWire was like a whole cultural movement. Yeah, you download like an album. It'd say like, oh, like Kanye West, um, you know, graduation, and you download it, <laughs> and then it'd be like a soundbite of like a fake Bill Clinton impersonator being like, I did not have sexual Are relations with that woman, but what? I did go to BitTorrent.com. It was like an ad. <laughs> oh you download it and you get like punked. What? And it'd be an ad for something. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so funny. And so every time you download it, it's like a risk. Huh. Plus all the viruses. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It wasn't your computer. It was your parents. It was fucking Dell or whatever. <laughs> My God. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Well, um, is that it for Dominica? I mean, fuck, it's just our first time. I just want to, like, kind of capture this moment in time. Yeah. Our feelings and oh how we're gosh. feeling about the trip. You know, what lies ahead. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for every single second of it. But I think what I'm most excited about in general is just the unknown of all of it. Mm. Seriously, like, we have no plan. Like, this is, like, the first time in my life, at least, that I've just totally relinquish the idea of being in control of everything and mm-hmm. planning everything and prepaying for everything and doing, you know, I've loosened up with it over the last couple of years, obviously, but just, you know, total freedom, just making all of our choices kind of on a whim and seeing where it takes us. Yeah. I think you have better. I mean, yeah, it might be a little more expensive in the end, but I think you have better. Because, like, you're never going to know enough about a place. Like, trying to research Dominica was hard. There's, like, yeah. not much online. It was hard. I think it's better to just show up and just, like, figure it out. And you learn faster. You learn so fast once you're there. Yeah. I learned a shit ton in the taxi with that yeah, guy. Yeah, just asking him questions. Yeah. I yeah. Honestly, I should have recorded that. That was a great conversation. Yeah, it really was. It just got better and better, too. Yeah. And he was so nice. He ended up taking us to, like, a... A restaurant he gave us a little you know he drove around town to kind of show us where the supermarket yeah is yeah he like went out of our way he's like all right you're gonna walk here you're gonna turn here and he drove us and he's like all right look also he was driving very slow which i really appreciated i appreciated that too because i feel like in the developing world a lot of times people drive like fucking lunatics yeah and we were driving like on the side of a cliff the whole time if he yeah. had been driving any faster <laughs> i would have been losing my shit i would have had to put my blindfold on <laughs> Sometimes I have to do that in the car with people who drive crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> or like the time in Yosemite, we were like at the construction oh, uh, road man. stop and we had a flight to catch in like an hour. 
It's like four in the morning and you're like having a panic attack oh, and just put on your blindfolds. I was. Start doing breathing irate. exercises. I was irate. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Because we had got, this was when we went for Connor's 30th birthday to Yosemite. We had to leave and get to the airport on our last day super early and we had to return the van first. So it was like four in the morning. And so we were grouchy and it was dark outside and we were driving through the mountains. I don't know what you're talking about. I was chipper. No, you were I not. Was no, chipper. you were not. No, you were not. And oh my gosh, Connor had to pee really bad. Actually, yeah. this is a whole other fo- foil to the story. But we're driving around with a bathroom in our van. How hard could it be to yeah, just pee? Yeah, but we had emptied the tank. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Oh, that's right. We that's had to right. we had to bring it back with like all the tanks, like the sewage yeah, yeah, yeah. tank or the septic, whatever you call yeah, that, yeah. had all be empty, and so he couldn't be in the van. But yeah, we got to one of those Peeping traffic jug. points. Like a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he peed in like an empty water jug yeah. behind, like while we were stopped at the construction thing. That's what it was. Yeah. You know, it's like when they're doing construction on the road, they shut it down to one lane. The guy's standing there with the sign that says like slower stop. We were stopped. I shit you not. It was, it was 30 minutes. Oh yeah. And we were like on razor thin margins. We the whole were time. already cutting it close to yeah. get to the airport. And we had like three hours of driving ahead of us. Yeah. And so <laughs> I was freaking out. I was losing my shit. And the only way that I could calm myself down and not march out there and be like, Hey buddy, get this moving yeah. was by putting on my blindfold and doing breathing exercises. Meanwhile, Connor's standing up in the back of the van ping. Yeah. Somebody else, somebody else did get out of their car, though, and walk up to that guy, remember? It oh, was yeah. Like a no, man. it was ridiculous. Yeah. It got to the point where it's like, this is comedy. Yeah. Well, yeah. I never, I didn't think it was funny until a few hours later. But <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, yeah. though. Yeah. Well, good thing you have your blindfold That's for right. all the scary rides ahead of us. <laughs> That's right. I don't know if I'm re- willing to rent a car here. Like, the roads look, I mean, maybe if, like, we could rent it for one day to go to like some really remote spot. But in general, yeah. like, like in Colombia, like the roads were bad and they're really twisty and stuff. But I had a motorcycle, like you can maneuver really easily. And I mean, mm-hmm. it is dangerous, but like there's way more agility on a motorcycle. If I'm in like a fucking four by four truck mm. on these like hairpin turns yeah. and it's raining, I'm going to freak out. Yeah. If it, if it rains, I don't think we should drive at all because of, just the way that the island is, like the cliffs and how steep it is, and how the it, mud. it's like mud. You know, there's like mud on the sides oh, of the yeah, cliffs. Oh yeah, there'll be landslides. I think it'd be really there'll dangerous. Be I don't think we could do it. Oh yeah, there'll be landslides. <laughs> Add that to a list of fears for this trip. <laughs> yeah, landslides, earthquakes. <laughs> My old hurricanes. boss used to have like a, a virtual assistant who was like in the Philippines or Indonesia. I can't remember, but that person was always calling out sick and my boss was super understanding but she was always like there's a tsunami today there's an earthquake today there's a volcanic eruption today right and like, so sure there listen, is listen i be- i believe it when you yeah. look at like where the plates are like the continental plates yeah uh-huh and <laughs> i don't <laughs> think that, was that was i don't think that was the right word <laughs> whatever um shelf <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Whatever. We the, know what you're talking whatever. about. Whatever. It doesn't the, matter. The plates. This is not a science podcast. <laughs> you're continents. being too science already. You're right. Just... You're right. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, so I think like when I told my folks about like the Philippines and Indonesia, of course, you know, they did the parent thing where they're like, oh, tsunamis, earthquakes, right. volcanic eruptions. Oh my God. I love when your mom was like, where's that measles outbreak? You need to be careful there. And your sister was like, it's in America. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. I was like, got him. Oh my God. Got I, him. I don't think she said anything. She I was think... like, oh, you should have huh? been like, aren't you scared? There's yeah. measles here. They're like, wait a minute. Where are all those school shootings? Don't go there. <laughs> Where are all those dangerous migrants going? <laughs> oh my God. Actually, she did say something about like the, all the um, prisoners and like gang members that escaped from like, Haiti. The prisons in Haiti, yeah. She was like, they're going to all the other Caribbean islands yeah. right now. Are you sure you want to go to the Caribbean? Like, And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then our taxi driver was like, yeah, we have a lot of Haitians. And I was like, oh, fuck. I <laughs> thought that too when he said that. It, it, they're probably like refugees. Yeah, no, they're yeah. fine, fine. They're yeah. fine, fine. Just get bad press. Yeah. But. Well, I guess we'll find out when we go to the market tomorrow. Yeah. You know, if they try to initiate us into a gang or, or sell some apple. us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, our taxi driver had a machete, and I was like, are you going to behead us, sir? Oh, my gosh. That was so funny. It was funny. an empty van, and yeah. the back was just a machete. Yeah, he opened up the back for us to put our luggage in, and there was just a machete sitting there. It wasn't even in, like, a, th- a sheath no, no, no. or anything. And Connor was like, why do you have a machete? <laughs> just straight up asked that. I thought that was so funny. And he was, like, gardening. And Connor was like, oh, yeah, I have my machete, too. 
he did not think that was funny. No, I thought it was good. He had no sense of humor. No, he didn't. He was also just a really interesting character. At multiple points, he, like, he had all these individually wrapped bags of, like, assorted nuts and things in the back seat. And he was like, yeah, I also am a health, like, health and wellness, like, food. Like, I sell these nuts. What and a wholesome guy. And also, he's a pastor. What a great guy. And a taxi driver. And huh. he's all these things. Huh. Yeah, he's hustling. Yeah, and but we good for him. I guess he also gardens with his machete and is not a murderer. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not that we know. <laughs> all right. I think that's it. I mean, I feel like we got our feelings out there. Yeah. How we're feeling about the trip. Excited, a little scared. So excited. First night. I feel like this almost a sense. Well, I felt it earlier. I feel good now that we're talking about it. But earlier, I felt this almost like sense of dread. Like, yeah. Oh my God, what are we going to do? Like all of our comfort is gone. Cause I mm. think like when I'm traveling, it, it, it's all about like inertia or like momentum, right? Like when you're traveling for a long time, I think it's easy, but then you go home and you get used to it. And then that's really easy. Yeah. And then you don't want to change. And mm. then when you start changing, it's like your body's like, no, 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 no. We like, you know, sitting on our ass and watching <laughs> TV at seven. And then yeah. like, which I still like doing. That actually sounds great right <laughs> that now. That sounds nice. But, yeah. but like, you just get used to it. And yeah. I don't know. Yeah. This discomfort is good. Discomfort, growth, fear. These are all important things. Yeah. Just to mix it up a little. Yeah. Even if we only do like two months. I mean, it's good. Even a month is still crazy by like regular people's standards. Yeah. Totally. You know? Yeah. You're right. And we have a month. I mean, a whole month to explore this tiny little island. Like, we're going to really. Yeah. He seemed surprised when we said we were here a month. He was like, oh, yeah, you'll see everything. Yeah. I want to see some cool shit. I want to go deep. Yeah. I want to have some me and Mar-like adventures. I want to meet the local drunk. <laughs> I don't think it'll be hard, judging by when he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made it sound like it was a real problem. Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> well, now it sounds like I'm exploiting these poor people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to be like, yeah, drink more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Is that it? You got anything else? That's it. Okay. Thank you guys for coming to our bed to listen to our conversation. <laughs> Why'd you tell me we were in bed? This is a studio. It's very professional. <laughs> All right. Cheers from first night on a long trip. That's right. See you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. <laughs>